Hi there, it's Dave. And it's always something. Yeah, the Arkanoid restoration continues, but it's not continuing you know, very fast right now. The now is a really busy time for the family. End of the school year and stuff. And hello there. Take a look. I have a visitor. Hello, how do you do? How do you do? Meet Nugget. Nugget the cat. Anyway, as long as I've got the camera and I'm doing stuff with it, take a look down here. I'll show you what's going on. That's not the subject of the video. See, here's my Drobo, which you can read. If you look over here, around the side, see that? Lights are blinking. And the top one and the bottom two are going back to green. The middle one has, or the second one has failed. So, got order hard drive. And I might make it two because the, uh, because, hello, oh, you know, he's still here, but there's Puff. It's nothing like doing a show for an audience. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I might order two because one of the hard drives, most are, the bottom two are two gigabyte drives. The uh, top, or the, uh, Bottom two are two gigabyte drives. Top one's a one, I'm sorry, two terabyte drives. The top one's a one terabyte. No, the second one's a one terabyte. One of them's one is a 250 gigabyte drive. So anyway, I'm going to get a drive. I might as well up the capacity. Up your capacity. Up capacity. Ah! See, say hello. Ah. Put me down, put me down. That's not why I came here. <laughs> anyway, he goes. So, anyway. So, that's one thing new that's come up in the past two days. The real reason for this video is to talk about another road trip. And that road trip was to pick up a centipede. And I'll tell you a little bit about the centipede. But in order to do that, let's cut to some video. It's Saturday, April 25th, and we're on our way to pick up a game. Or look at a game, anyway. Probably pick it up. And once again, it's raining. There are raindrops on the ground, raindrops on the car window, and we're going anyway. Anyway, here we go. Well, let's see the journey of a thousand miles in my case it begins with stopping at the gas station even though I was there just last night. And I had to do some driving around. It took about 80 miles last night. And long enough to drive today. Best to stop when you know you can before you know you need to. So we're GPS knows the way and the rain is coming down. Still on the road. You know, not far, maybe five, ten minutes from where I was last time. Okay, we're headed home. The sun is out. 
got about three hours ahead of us, give or take a little. And in the back of the car is a Centipede Cabaret. It was in excellent shape. A little ding by one of the back corners. I don't think anybody will ever notice that. It's got a new trackball. Bezel was in excellent shape. The monitor is in excellent shape. So I think it was a good deal. The, uh, I did notice we loaded it loaded it into the car that the leg levelers were rusted out. That's not a big deal at all. Don't have any, so I'll have to order some. I can help. But, uh, yeah. There it is. Okay, it's Sunday. Pickup day plus one. And here's the situation. Still my car. Leg levelers, all four of them were pretty rested. Top two, I was able to get out. They unscrewed okay. These guys, these guys are rusted fast. So, give them some muscle and see if we can't get them off. Stay tuned. You know, sometimes the simplest solutions are the most effective. That one's off, and I don't mean, you might want to know, but I don't mean to pry, but uh, basically I got the back end of the claw hammer here, so I don't intend to reuse those, and apparently there's some uh, nails holding those guys down. Those are still in up there. It looks like there's a screw holding them in, so hopefully I can get them out okay, but uh, the, uh, they rusted fast to the... Uh, call the thing receiver but that's uh, only being held in by the nails or the staples from a long time ago so all I need to do is pull it out and, uh, nice and gentle from all sides just enough to break it free and those guys are still in there so I'll grab a pair of pliers or this guy, anyway. And out he comes. So, probably be a good thing if I got those guys out. They're not, it's not serving any purpose. Hopefully I can, that screw will unscrew. I think so. Stay tuned. Okay, those guys came out just fine. Screws came out no problem with uh, the cordless screwdriver. And, um, the, uh, as far as the uh, receiver, I wish I could think of the name of it. Um, and on this one, I stuck the uh, the uh, threaded end of the leg leveler back into it. It wouldn't screw in, so I just kind of stuck it in and wiggled it back and forth, kind of pulling a little bit. That loosened it up. I got a hold of it with the needle nose pliers, and out it came. This one here. Just grabbed it with the pliers, wiggled it, and out it came. The wood there, this is evidently experienced some water. And I, I thought about putting new leg levelers on. Bob Roberts sells some nice ones that I put on my Pac Man. They have a wider, I should point the camera where I'm talking to, they have a wider base. However, I've decided, I've opted for something a little bit different. Wheels. These are swivel casters. They're locking swivel casters just from Home Depot. And so I'll we'll screw those on and be done with it. And then I can move it around if I need to. Hopefully a little easier. And lock it in place. So there we have it. Get those on and uh, show you what they look like. And lo, as the sun sinks slowly over the horizon, behold, a castorated arcade cabinet. Those things are on pretty good, despite the the, the wood that was kind of crumbling where it had rusted, but I think that's secure enough. 
now to get it out of my car because today it's Sunday evening and I got to go to work in the morning. Oh, hey, you're back. What'd you think? Cat's back too. Uh, well, I haven't really done anything since then. I did bring it in. When was it? it was that evening? Yeah. After the casters got on the thing, got a lot of reflection off my monitor. After we got the casters on, we brought the thing in and put it in our front hallway. It sat there a while, and the game played fine. Played a few games. Uh, one night I got home from work, started dinner cooking, came over, plugged the thing in, started playing a game, and it froze up mid-game. So, um, thinking I need to take a look at the main board. Let's make sure that all of the chips have secure connections into the board. Uh, might need to take some out, clean the legs on them. But that's okay. And I haven't had the chance to do it yet. I mentioned May was a crazy month for our family. Very crazy. So um, the thing did come into the house. And just three or four days ago, it did make it down to the basement. And here's what that looks like. Just this evening. And here is the centipede cabaret in the basement, the messy basement. We're looking for a place to land, and that's another project that I've started on. Where it's at, there used to be a couple computer monitors and a computer. Started cleaning things up. That is a summer project that should have been a winter project. So I mentioned it was a crazy winter. It always is for our family. There are some things that need to be done on this um, control panel. It's kind of split right here. I can't. Phoenix Arcade, hit, you can buy replacements. I might get that soon, I might not. The T molding along the edges is coming loose. I do have a whole bunch of black T molding here. Uh, it's smooth. This. Yeah, I guess this is smooth too. So that it should match here. Bought enough for the centipede and the arcanoid out in the garage. So arcanoid is not getting the purple tea molding as I had talked about. So um, the cord is inside. It made it easier for moving it down to the basement. And overall, cabinet is in really nice shape. So, like I say, when I was in, see, the, uh, the bezel looked really nice. There were no locks on the, on the coin doors when I got it. Uh, those are some that I had that I put on there. It is really clean inside. There is a lock on the back door that does not match the others, and it does not work there's no key for it so I need to get matching key for that right now there is a screw holding the door on so I can't get it out and plug it in when I did plug it in upstairs and I said that the game locked up on me that uh, it was just a bunch of uh, sprites on the screen and that's all I've had since then um, so could be a cold solder joint could be ROMs that are coming loose, I don't know, but uh, trackball spins like butter. I have more buttons. I don't know if I'll replace that or just clean this up. Um, but I can't complain about much of anything. I don't think it'll any problems at all getting it working. So the main thing right now, look around the basement. There is stuff everywhere. This guy may be on an unplanned project to up here, or I may take it out temporarily so I can figure things out. This shelf of Coke stuff may find a new place to be. 
I certainly don't need everything that's on those shelves, so I may transfer some of it over. There's a lot of duplicate bottles that don't need to be there. So, and there's not that much here that can't be somewhere else. So anyway, um, stay tuned for some basement updates once we're done with May. Did I mention May was a crazy month? And there's still room to access the firepower because I do play that every night. So anyway, maybe I want to buy an old black and white and larger. So anyway, a lot of stuff to clean up, stuff to throw out, stuff to donate, stuff to move around. Because <clears throat> as I say, you don't clean places, you shuffle the mess. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned for more. So that's where things stand right now. I've got too many projects and not enough time. That's what it comes down to. Oh, I mentioned the basement crazy month. <clears throat> the basement is a complete mess. It does need to be reorganized. Jane will get to TV to play N64 games. Stuff is going to move, stuff is going to go, stuff is going to get put away, thrown away, donated. But the games will stay, because that's what the purpose is. It's a fun basement. So, that's all I've got for today. Click the subscribe button if you like the channel. Click the subscribe button if you don't like the channel. You'll get updates on things as they progress. For, by the time the summer's over, Senate people have a place, it will be functioning. The Arkanoid will be down here in its place, wherever that is. There might even be another game or two. So, we'll have to see. So, thanks for watching, and uh, drop back and see how things are going. Bye.